Hello everybody, it's Michelle Lim here, your favorite neighborhood comedian. Thank you so much for watching my new video. I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, very happy to have you guys on the journey and I would like to start out by uh, shouting out to my new subscribers. It's such a long list because I don't make frequent videos, but that's okay. Let's get to it. So, thank you so much for subscribing. Dally the Third, uh, Matthew the Great Coin Hunter, pa uh, Coin Roll Hunter, sorry. Uh, Pan, the Lazy Lads, awesome name. Can't believe you didn't even be bothered to. Ian, Ryan, Ken, Juan, Ron, Stella, my friend Stella, thank you for subscribing. And shout out to my other two friends, Helen and Olin as well. Uh, Rashid, Karumpi, Daryl, Jarvis, Adriel, Daksha, and Dianzong. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very excited to have you guys here with me. Um, it, yeah, it's crazy right now. Uh, everyone's in quarantine. Um, I actually, um, I actually am not minding it. Obviously, it's annoying to be not able to go out, but I'm so thankful to be in uh, a job which allows me to work from home and that I have a roof over my head and that I have, um, been able to go to the shops and get enough food to eat. So in, all in all, like I'm, I'm very positive about this and I'm not trying to be flippant and, and, um, discount the work that all the essentials workers are doing. I'm very, very appreciative. I made signs. I um, do the clap thing at seven o'clock and that's great. You know, I'm just trying to say like, for me, I um, I am trying to find, you know, the, be the best of the opportunity and I have been enjoying keeping to myself and reading and just watching TV and um, just being thankful that I'm not sick and no one in my family is sick and being thankful to all the essential workers out there that are helping us. So thank you so much, essential workers. We really appreciate you and everyone. Um, you know, it's tough not being able to see your friends, but please keep your distance and try to make the most of it. You know, like you're cooking and stuff. I'm cooking a lot. I'm watching a lot of TV. I'm reading a lot more than I was before. So yeah, I just think everyone needs to be more appreciative <laughs> that we are, um, you know, that the impact hopefully to us is not as big as it, it could be to some people. Um, anyway, that was a bit of a weird introduction. I actually had a better video start, but then I did something wrong with my computer and then it just recorded me swearing a lot at it. So I had to start again, which is kind of annoying. So Corona's crazy. Um, I had thought of a couple of funny ideas that I wanted to like go through uh, with you, um, basically around like quarantine and just like going to the shops at the moment. It's so funny because like when you go to the shops, it's like there's a huge line like you're lining up to get into like the hottest club and then there's a bouncer at the front trying to like control the flow of people like one in one out and then he's looking at your ID like mate can you read 65 or older right come back at 10 o'clock you cheeky bastard um and then you know I don't know about you guys but I've been going on a lot of walks by myself and um and I sometimes I see people that look really good like they're dressed up really nicely and I'm in like tracksuits all, like all day every day right now and I'm just like dude what is this person like where is this person going obviously they are not just going out by themselves they're obviously going somewhere because they're taking a pride in their appearance and that is just not on right now if you could see my pants you would see that they have their fairy pants that have frogs on them because that's how I roll during quarantine and I think it's great I'm enjoying just like staying in my pajamas all day um yeah so I didn't have any jokes I mean I didn't have any chips for you. I just wanted to make this video to thank, thank everybody for subscribing and, and hope that everyone's doing well and to remind everyone to be, um, you know, grateful. And if you see postal workers or healthcare workers on the street or sanitation workers, like give them a wave and say thanks. Like I, I, I've been thanking a lot of postmen on my walks. I've been thanking like healthcare workers when I see them walking uh, home in their scrubs. Like it's just a nice thing to do. Um, Michelle rant time, which you guys never get to hear because I'm such a nice person on my YouTube channel. But I do rant a lot, actually. My co-workers can attest to that. Um, I've been seeing, like, a lot of notices on people's doors that say, like, to the postman or, like, like USPS workers or whatever, like, please knock on the door or, like, call me. We are home. Thanks. And it's like, dude, why don't you start with, like, a, hey, thanks so much for risking your life to come out and deliver the cat puzzle that I ordered off Amazon two hours ago. Uh then you can come up with your requests for like whatever but do you're at home anyway so just answer the doorbell when they call or I don't know keep a lookout and don't be like so demanding when people are risking their lives to deliver things to you and you don't even say thank you anyway so 
that's Michelle Rand for the day. Um, so I, I've been watching a lot of movies uh, because obviously I have nothing to do. Oh, the other thing I was going to say about the quarantine, which is a possible good thing, is that, you know, at least we have um, a good excuse for not doing our news resolutions this year because I was supposed to do a show in April and I didn't write anything, you know, before this whole lockdown started. But that's beside the point. And now obviously can't do it because quarantine. So, you know, what are you going to do, people? <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, so I've been watching a lot of TV. I just thought it'd be funny if I, I did some reviews of shows that you should not watch to save you guys some time because I think that everyone's in the same boat. We're all watching a lot of Netflix at the moment. So these are the movies that I would not recommend you watch on Netflix. One, Atlantique. Atlantique. A-T-L-A-N-T-I-Q-U-E. -A -A it's a Senegalese movie. Uh, I'm very into foreign films because I'm a learned scholar, as you guys probably know. And I think that American movies are sometimes very cliche and they all follow like this stupid, like, you know, standard like movie structure, which is kind of annoying. So I like watching uh, foreign films and I'm not, I don't see that, you know, those little, that one inch, the subtitles as a, as a wall barrier to entry as the guy, the director of Parasite was saying. So um, Atlantique, it's a Senegalese movie. It is like the worst movie. It was so bad like you know sometimes when you watch a movie and it's like really slow and you're like okay but it's gonna get better like you just gotta it's fine like 20 minutes 30 minutes you're like yeah it's just like it's a slow build and at the end it's gonna be like super good was not good did not enjoy it it's basically about this um girl and she is in love with this guy uh and then he it is kind of it's sad it's sad now i feel like i'm being insensitive it's sad because they he has to leave to find um more work so he uh, he, uh, he gets on this boat to go to Spain from Senegal and he dies. Okay. And then, um, and then it just takes a weird turn with zombies. It's just weird, guys. Don't watch it. It's not good. Second movie, also not good. Dolomite is my name. Also didn't like it. I don't know. What, I just thought it was like, it started off really good, but then it, I think it kind of got too slow at the, in the middle and I didn't like the end. Third movie, do not, do not watch. Young adult, also did not like it. I just think, like, if movies are going to be slow and the person is not going to be enjoyable, then you need to make it, like, super... That, that person, the main character, needs to be, like, super unenjoyable so you can, like, enjoy hating them. Not, like, someone that is just boring and you're like, I don't really care about them either way, you know? So, um, this is my stunning literary <laughs> reviews on these movies. Um, but I did watch a really good movie, Snowpiercer, which I enjoyed, and that's by the director that I directed, Parasite. Um, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's on Netflix. There was an article around how Harvey Weinstein wanted to cut out 20 minutes because he thought that, like, the American audience was, like, a bit dumb and they couldn't understand, like, the character development. So he was just like, let's just cut it out. And this is why we need foreign films, guys, because it's just so great to see, like, different perspectives and different ways of, like, directing and things like that. And then my roommate and I had a great moment where we were like, yeah, and then, because this movie was made in, like, 2014, and now we're like, and yeah, look what the director is now. He won, like, the Oscars or whatever for, like, best film, and Harvey Weinstein's in jail, so take that, Harvey. So, yes, watch that movie. It was great. Um, and then I had a, and then I had, like, a great um, suggestion from, um, oh, my God, I forgot to put the other people in. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. This, that was, like, half of my new subscribers. Then there's like another half that I, I was going to do, but I didn't. So I'll just do it next video. But uh, Adriel, I think, is one of my new subscribers. Um, oh, no, maybe I did do it. Oh, yeah. I'm great, guys. Don't worry about me. He had a great suggestion. He or she uh, he or she had a great suggestion to do like a Zoom call. Um, so I was like, yeah, why not, guys? We've got nothing else to do. So I'm going to put up a link to a survey. Um, if you want to partake in the Zoom call, I'm going to try to organize something for next Friday uh probably around 3 or 4 p.m um pacific time in the u.s um so fill out the survey if you want and let's get on a call and like you know maybe we can brainstorm some ideas um one word of warning if we're gonna do this call i don't like smutty sex jokes okay so and i i that's not true i like them if they're funny but usually open mics like they're just not funny okay so if you you know like be warned okay I'm, I'm saying, I'm not saying you can't do them, but I'm saying, like, if you, oh, God, for some reason think it's, like, the most hilarious joke and you really want to do it, if I don't find it funny, I'm just going to be like, that's not funny. 
let's move on, okay? Because, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like sex jokes, which are just like, the point of it is just like, oh, it's so disgusting and that's why it's funny. Not into it, okay? So just warning you now. But everything else is fine. Um, you know, so yeah, come up with your jokes. I'll send out the link to the people who, um, who are registered and who are interested and then we can jump on a call and that'll be fun. Yay! Alone but together. Okay, guys, have a great week. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.